Good morning. My name is Ray. I'm with Team Steam. This morning I'm here at Flash Industrial Painting. And I'm going to go ahead and unmask this uh, snow plow that I shot yesterday. Get everything unmasked, any touch up that might need done. Get this blade put back on, these shoes put back on. Uh, see you know, how it turned out and uh, go from there. All right, well, got it all unmasked. Looks like it turned out fine. I don't really see anything else that needs touched up or done. Um, I can fire up the truck and turn the plow, and right in here is gonna need some touch up. But outside of that, looks like it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and install this blade and the feet and uh, get this thing on out of here. Okay, I got everything I'm gonna need here. To put to do this job, we've got all my uh, carriage bolts. They've been painted. One of them is going to need to be cut off a little bit. Uh, it's going to run a little bit long because one of these new holes that I drilled goes right into one of the braces. And so I had to hollow out the backside of the brace a little bit. So this bolt's going to have to be a hair shorter for all that to work. No big deal. They'll still all be there and they'll still all be bolted up and strong. And I've got uh, the washers that I need, all the bolts from before. Um, three quarter inch. Now you see this wrench is broken. It has been for heck, I don't know, over a decade, a long time, but I've kept it because it's 12 point. It's really narrow. You can get it on all kinds of stuff and it's fairly narrow this way too. So, and it's really strong. I've, I've gotten on this thing with so many big bars and cheater bars and it's, I've hardly messed with it. So that's why I've kept it all these years and here I need it again for this one application for that one brace I was talking about. And this will work great for that. This right here, is hillbilly anti-seize just keep a tub of it around it serves for everything if you ever need to pack bearings that's what it's for um all sorts of things any kind of lube that, that you need but also i smear it on bolts that are getting ready to go into bad situations as an anti-seize so years and years and years in the future they won't be rusted out because there's that that little bit of grease on them. just a little bitty smear of grease and uh that's just like just like anti-seize and it even works in higher temperatures so you know, good good stuff to have around got it all set in place looks like it's a good fit I'm gonna go ahead and uh, smear some sealant some caulking of some sort something tough back behind here and then uh, go ahead and cinch down the bolts and then when that all bulges out and then up, up, at that point I'm gonna go ahead and take my finger and clean it all up so I've got a decent seal there so stuff just doesn't sit down behind there and re uh, and begin to rot that like it had done before all right looks like we can put a bow on this one Got it all uh, put together. Got some good construction adhesive in there to prevent uh, corrosion from getting down between the blades. And uh, got her all put back together. 100% ready to go. Now, in your shop situation, or your back room situation, or in your driveway when it's nice outside situation, if you need to get an extra table, um, a lot of times what's going to be your best bet is to just go buy a couple of the cheap little sets of sawhorses. In other words, what you get in a set is one of these. Well, two of these. And two of these builds one sawhorse. So when you go to the store to get these, don't, don't just buy one thinking you're going to have a set of sawhorses. You're going to have one sawhorse. You need to get two of these packages, each containing two of these to have a complete set of sawhorses. Then, and you can see here, look at these notches cut out of here. That's not strategic, that's used wood. I tore apart a, tra we tore apart a trailer house a few years back and saved all the studs out of the walls and we used some of them for this and some of them for other stuff. They're too weak and thin in these spots to be good for structure. But we uh, use them for these. And then I also ran a bunch of them through the table saw and got them to be about 
a quarter inch thick so I could use them as slats for all the tabletops, top and bottom, in the greenhouse. And that's what I used them for. So the, all the surfaces in the greenhouse are made up of an old trailer house interior. But anyway, you buy these sawhorses, put them together, and then just get some old wood. That's all, this is just a nasty old warped piece of uh, siding. That's all it is, hardboard siding. You just get whatever old wood or door or whatever you got, throw it on there, you got you a table. Because I'm using my workbench. See my workbench made out of railroad ties? Gave it kind of an art deco look. If you look. Gave it kind of an art deco look. Did the same thing on the ends. This is all just used particle board, and I mean it was so used up. That's why I painted it black. It was there was nothing left of it hardly. And old railroad ties. Tied it all together. Put an old uh, basin, a wash basin. You know, I can hold a washer and a dryer together. Um, you, you'll you'll go into some places, and in the washroom, you'll see an iron what looks like a stand for the washer and dryer to sit on. I used one of those. Yeah, bolted all this to that to make sure I had it all square and sturdy and then lagged it all together on the outside. So this is all used material, but this is a good solid bench. It's got my vise on it. It's got a paint shaker on it. It's got, these are underneath it. There's a metal cutting one. These are chop saws. There's a metal cutting one and a wood cutting one that I keep underneath them and I just bring out whichever one I want and plug it in. But anyway, this bench only has so much room, you know, to do everything. So when you need a spare table, you just go get yourself some saw horses and throw a door or whatever you got down, part of a, a some boards, a pallet, and you got you another table. Well, sun's setting outside. I'm just sure I can find some good food and something to do that isn't work. Catch you guys later.